A promise to tackle knife crime, but with two teenagers fatally stabbed in the capital this month, will it be enough to stop the violence? It may include stop and search. Uh, knife sweeps are quite popular because we know that people stash and store knives in open areas. They're tackling something as complex as knife crime is not easy. We've been doing it a long time. However, we know there are interventions that can work if sustained. I do feel that it's good that the police are doing something, but I don't think it's nowhere near enough. Also on the programme. Affordable homes, the mayor's met his own house-building targets, but critics question if it will meet London's housing needs. The health workers cycling around London in support of the ULEZ expansion, while some local authorities continue to challenge it. We meet the stars of the Disney remake of The Little Mermaid as it premieres in London tonight. And concerns have been raised over the health impact of excessive noise from the tube. The London Assembly's Environmental Committee warned of mental and physical impacts from prolonged exposure to loud noise. It's asked Transport for London to make noise data publicly available and invest in track improvements. TfL said minimising noise was a priority. A large hole has opened up in Little Missenden in Buckinghamshire, thought to be a result of nearby HS2 tunnelling in the Chilterns. HS2 Limited has sealed off the area and is investigating the cause, saying there is no risk to the public. Wandsworth Bridge is to close to vehicles for 10 weeks for repairs. The closure starts on the 24th of July. Cyclists will be able to use the bridge but will have to dismount. The council says the work is needed to replace weight-bearing parts.